everyone. Just on the beginning, I must say our tour around and through the uh, digital environment of the Czech archaeology is starting quite long ago in the year 1919. Uh, in this year we got the anniversary of our institution that was founded as the State Archaeological Institute uh, with uh, three main missions to coordinate the archaeological activities in the Czechoslovak Republic, to collect the data about this, the finding reports, and to support the archaeological publications. Uh, and I, I must say, for all these three targets, we are now building our digital environment, uh, especially the archaeological information system. Uh, in the 70s and in the 80s, uh, it was important time for the conceptual work in the Czech archaeology. Uh, we are using, until today, in our databases, the uh, theory of settlement areas uh, by Evgen Neustupny for the content uh, description of the documents and of the scientific uh, and for the uh, uh, structuring of the scientific content of our databases. We are using the system of uh, uh, discrete uh, special units uh, formed by Slavomil Wenzel, and we are hanging, hanging on it the data and the documents. And we are using to the system of the archaeological documentation points in the Prague uh, uh, city center, founded and defined by Ladislav Herdlička. So uh, we got the system that is based on the evidence of the archaeological fieldwork, not the evidence of the monuments of, and of the sites uh, in the primary, uh, primary meaning. It makes our data stable and robust, so we never need to actualize them and to rewrite them. But uh, all these activities in our institute deep in the 90s were primarily oriented uh, on the research, not on the building of the uh, agenda system or on the, on the evidences. It was changed, slowly changed, by the disaster in the year 2002 uh, through the flood that destroyed a huge part of our documents, of our, uh, of our photographs especially, and uh, just after that, uh, our institute started with the digitalizations, with the building of the digital repositories, and with the systemizing of our uh, archival agenda. Uh, important moment was uh, the year uh, 2012, when we started the Archaeological Map of Czech Republic project. Uh, that started also with the creation of uh, native tools. Until these days, we used uh, the common software, just like Microsoft Access and so on and so on. Shortly after that, uh, uh, started other project in uh, digital humanities, uh, and it's the synergy between all these projects was leading to the establishing of the archaeological information system of the Czech Republic, it's one of the big research infrastructures supported by the uh, Ministry of Education. So how is it uh, archaeological inform information system running? It's a monster with two heads. The one is in Prague, the second one in Brno. So the institutes uh, founded uh, by the Czech Academy of Sciences and the Czech Academy of Sciences is covering all the basal, the basal mandatory cost. It means the maintenance of the system and the basal, and the basal uh, personal cost. The development of the tools, the data acquisition and other presentation activities 
are paid from the from the project and iSchair has several several components I want to present now or later. <laughs> uh, so what is this? What is it? Uh, archaeological information system of Czech Republic. One reviewer wrote once that it's an ecosystem. We like this formulation, we are using it. So what is it? It's the database, it's the geographic information systems, it's the system of, uh, 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 of the data services we are providing, for instance, for the Ariadne Plus portal, but it's also the team of experts they are collecting and managing data and providing research on, on it. It's a system of software and hardware infrastructure beside. And it's, of course, uh, the couple of, uh, uh, of uh, interfaces of the system for the data presentations towards uh, the different publics. Uh, here we can see it. In the core of the archaeological information system of the Czech Republic is the archaeological map of the Czech Republic with its repository of, uh, of, uh, uh, of the digital documents. We, get, uh, we got our presenting webs. We have also the data services that are used by other infrastructures and uh, other, uh, other data databases. So, here is the core, here is the backbone, the archaeological map, its digital repository, and, and its data services and backend. We've got the portal Archaeology Online, where we are presenting the uh, databases and uh, the data sources of the, uh, in the Czech archaeology and in the, uh, in the relevant disciplines. We got the, uh, the portal uh, of the archaeological atlas of the Czech Republic. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, presentation of two hundreds of typical archaeological sites in Bohemia in Moravia. It's focusing on the uh, on the general public, and we got the virtual research environment, Prague archaeological or Prague the city of archaeology. Uh, because it's my uh, responsibility in the in the whole project in the whole uh, system, I want to present it a little bit a little bit deeper. So, what is a Prague archaeological? Uh, practically, it's the uh, expression on the of the collaboration of the institution involved in the Prague archaeology in the web space. We, the Archaeological Institute, is providing this web page in the collaboration with the National Heritage Institute in Prague, with the City Museum of Prague, with the private companies involved in the Prague archaeological research, and also in the collaboration with the Prague City Planning Institute. We are concentrating maximum of possible data and map sources about the Prague archaeology in one uh, GIS environment. We are disseminating the archaeological knowledge across, uh, across uh, the archaeological uh, and other uh, scientific disciplines. We are popularizing and presenting the <coughs> pra archaeology, and for this purpose, we are providing all new media channels. So, how is the collaboration working? It's, uh, it's good to see on the scheme of uh, data circulation. We got the, we got the uh, web page with the map and with the data layers. They are coming from the data of uh, National Heritage Institute and from the, from the uh, data of, uh, of the Archaeological Institute. We get the data by the users through the desktop client of, uh, archeo uh, of Archaeological Map of the Czech Republic or through the redaction system of our presentation web. 
We got also the data of the cobalt uh, in the of the type of the cobalt maps, the background, background maps by the, the by the Czech authorities and by the Institute of Planning of the, in, in in Prague. We enable to overlap all these uh, scientific maps, all these data layers. I can proudly say with the guys, they are, uh, they are uh, doing the central evidence of the monuments, told me that our visualization and our tools for this data are better than the native ones, they developed them. We are also processing the data to make them more clear. It's one of the examples uh, is the map of the important archaeological areas in Prague. So we, or the colleagues from the National Heritage Institute, uh, process, process it, all this data to define the important places for the future research uh, with, the, with the regime of their protection. Yeah. We are also popularizing uh, this is the example of our, of our present presentation with the uh, structured description, with the gallery of multimedia, and then with the text that they can lead the visitor to the other presentation with similar context. And for the catching of new, of new souls, we are using the new media. We got several uh, several standalone applications for operation system Android. <coughs> we get our SketchFab channel, and we get also the YouTube channel. It can be really, let's say, successful. Our best success is this visualization of the building of the Charles Bridge in the 14th century. So, if we still have three minutes, we can look on it. I I hope it's running.
So, what is the archaeological information system of the Czech Republic? It's quite a complicated question. We can answer it from the point of view of the data content, from the technical point of view, from the point of view of the workflows. But it's a complex ecosystem of uh, uh, tools, of data, of peoples around <coughs> that's conducting the process, the archaeological process from the excavation, from the planning of the excavations to the end, to the presentation to the, to the public. It's bringing simply the missions of archaeological uh, institutes in Prague and Brno, defined just in 1919 or into the uh, digital, digital environment, in the web space and, and in the future. Thank you.